what if this is a repeated game? So another situation is what if this is um, what if this game is repeated uh, 100 times? Does that change your answer at all? If you're going to play this game month after month, year after year, whatever it is, we're going to we're going to play it repeatedly. Just go with your gut, okay? Kind of like rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Like you always pick, you know, rock. Whoever you're hitting against is going to figure that out really mm -hmm. quick and mm -hmm. take advantage of it. So if I'm constantly shooting high and Pepsi sees that, they're going to just keep saying high too. So then we're going to get into this lull of only 20, 20, 20, 20. Right. Whereas if um, I, I guess every once in a while I shot low, why would I want to do that? Because then if they shoot high. Well, but the difference, you know, when would you want to do that? I mean, is if I knew they were also putting low amounts in, because then you're going to get the higher payoff. Right. So you'd want to do it early in the game, right? Mm -hmm. So you might signal to them and say, so let, maybe you play high the first few times, or maybe you do it right out of the gate, but maybe you play high for the first, first, first five times, ten times. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, you know, I wonder if he's got a brain in his head or not. Maybe I'll try low to see, because obviously we're both better off to the tune of 30 if we, for the next 70 or 95 times, mm -hmm. make this instead of this, right? Yeah. And so you can start to think, well, maybe in a repeated game situation, um, I could try doing that. If I lose, if he socks it to me, then, okay, I've lost 100. You know, if I do a, a couple times of that, and then maybe that's enough. I've at least tried. But if all of a sudden the other player picks up on that and realizes, oh yeah, we both are better off if we do that. We haven't illegally colluded with each other, which might not be allowed, but we the way we've played the game, we might have been able to get to the cooperative. This is what we call the cooperative solution. So if Pepsi and Coke were able to cooperate with each other, this is superior to this one, like you had pointed out. Mm -hmm. So um, typically when we talk about companies and competition in the United States, we're dealing in a non-cooperative environment um, because it's not allowed. Otherwise, they probably would. Uh, so does it make a difference? Well, maybe. Now, if somebody's really thinking, though, when would be the time to play low if you were matching it up? When would be the time to, uh, if they go high, to, to actually go opposite and get, get the, uh, the big prize here? They're both going low, I should say. So they picked up on it. We're going to play for the next 95 times. The very last time. The very last time, right? So then you get the situation where, okay, wait a second. I know what he's thinking. He's going to screw me on the hundredth try, right? And so then that player thinks, oh, wait, I know how to outfox him. What could he do? Shoot. Also, go high. On when? Very last time. Would that the be the second, to the, the second to last time? The second to last time, the 99th time. Mm -hmm. So then the other guy is thinking, hmm, wait a second. He's pretty sharp. He's probably thinking that I'm going to screw him over on my little hundredth try, so he's going to go the 98th. I'm going to go the 98th time. Mm -hmm. And then he's thinking, well, he's probably thinking that I'm thinking that I'm going to screw him over the last time, so I'm going to do the 97th time. 96, 95. You start playing that game, and all of a sudden the cooperative solution might unravel itself all the way back down to the competitive solution. And so that might not work out either. So there's these variations that you can do. Um, one of the issues that you have with repeated games is that this is a repeated game that's played a finite number of times, a hundred times, mm -hmm. but you could play it indefinitely would be another variation of a repeated game. So repeated a hundred times, what if it was played 
indefinitely. Now I've taken that aspect of it away. Neither player knows when it's going to end on the hundredth time, so then that whole aspect is taken away if it's played indefinitely. 